and welcome back to this special holiday edition of the Factor Uncensored. The holidays are hard for some people to enjoy, particularly because they may be harboring unresolved trauma or resentment towards some family members. But how do you know when to let it go? and to forgive. Joining us to talk about it tonight on this Christmas evening is licensed professional counselor, Donetta Shelby. Glad to have you here on The Factor Uncensored and Merry Christmas to Merry you. Merry Christmas to you, glad to be here. Now, if you have family members or friends who may be harboring resentment towards one another, how do you even deal with that? Do you wanna even get yourself involved and in the middle of that? Cause it can become ugly. Yes, it can. So one of the things that is so important to talk about during the holidays and one of the things I work with my clients on is deciding what forgiveness means for you because a lot of times we have these different definitions of what forgiveness means and that can prevent us from being able to actually put forth the action of forgiveness mm -hmm. and so we want to make sure that we are one looking at what forgiveness means to us but two also deciding what does it look like because forgiveness does not always mean reconciliation mm -hmm. we can forgive our family members for our past hurt or what they've done to us but that doesn't mean we have to maintain a relationship with wow them. wow so for those who say or feel like they have to maintain that relationship you're saying they don't all they have to do is or their option is yes. to forgive and move on. Yes. But what if the other person wants reconciliation? So we talk a lot in counseling about these things called boundaries. And what that <laughs> is is, yes, it, and again, when you do that, we're boxing ourselves in. Mm -hmm. I'm saying what I will allow in my life. I'm saying what I am going to put forth into the universe and how I'm going to engage in relationships. Now, a family member could want to reconcile with you, but that does not necessarily mean that you are obligated to do so. And mm -hmm. around the holiday season, there's already so many obligations that we have to deal with, time obligations, what we're giving people, how we're showing up to people's uh, families' houses and things like that. One of the things that can really relinquish that stress from you and also give you the empowerment is for you to feel like I have a choice as to whether I'm going to go into a relationship with this person or not, whether I'm going to, to, going to continue to engage with this person or not, family member or not. Now, I'm not saying we're just cutting everybody off. Mm -hmm. Because family is important, especially around the holidays, and loneliness during this season can lead to a lot of depression. But what we do want to make sure is we are having those boundaries for how we're going to engage with the family, making sure that we create a safe space, because that's a big part of forgiveness. Now, if you have the boundaries in place, but you also, do you leave the, line of the lines of communication open just in case they have to call? <laughs> just in case they have to call if that is what's safe for you because mm -hmm. a lot of forgiveness is also saying I know that this person hurt me and oftentimes we feel like if we forgive this person we are setting ourselves up to be hurt again so you can decide I don't want to engage with this person I'm not gonna leave that open for communication or you can decide I love this person and I'm gonna limit my interactions or how I cultivate the relationship with them but if they are ready to take accountability for what they've done or if they're re ready to start a new leaf then I'm going to leave that open depends on your spirit are mm -hmm. you in the spirit of letting go and having all lines open or are you in the spirit of self-peace and just wanting to relinquish the relationship. Now, what if you get pressure from other family members wanting to bring you two together mm. and this is just something you don't want, but they want you to do it? Mm, like a come to Jesus meeting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So when you get that pressure, it's important to one, recognize that your family only wants this because they want to keep the peace. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we are urged or feel obligated to keep the peace with our family members no matter what they've done to us because they're family, they're blood. But it's important for us to also recognize that we cannot dictate how other people choose to go about the path of forgiveness. We cannot dictate what that looks like for them or what that looks like for the other person. And so if you feel pressure to really make your family members happy or make them more comfortable, we want to just say, hey, you know, I understand that you only want family peace. I understand that you want us all to be together. That may not work for me. I will try if that makes me feel safe. And if not, then I hope that we can all still love each other and keep our boundaries. So uh, operative uh, word boundaries. Then there you go. <laughs> boundaries. I like that word. <laughs> Donetta Shelby, thank you for joining us here on The Factor on Station with that valuable advice.